after we have discussed the binary number system and we were already familiar with the decimal number system we now discuss the concept of the octo number system this is an alternative representation of binary numbers which is uh, very useful in computer systems and with the octo number system it is said to be a radix 8 scheme and it only requires eight digits that from the available 10 digits so we use from from this from digit 0 0 1 2 3 all the way up to 7 and we say that digit 8 and 9 are not used or in, are invalid in the octal number system so for us to understand this number system better we would do an example but before we do that we want to say that uh, we can be able to convert a decimal number to become an octal number by a repeated division by eight and you remember that uh, we were able to, to obtain binary numbers by repeated division by two so that is a uh, similarity so with octo we do repeated division by eight and you will find when we do hexadecimal which is radix 16 we normally do repeated division by by 16 so that should never confuse you and therefore for us to do a conversion from oct decimal to octo we do this and we can also apply the weighted approach remember we had two methods we said we do weighted positions or positional weights and we say that if a digit it has position zero and you want to convert it to octo you'd say it is eight power zero if it is at position one then you want to convert it to octo or to decimal it has eight as the way we normally say tens in decimals ones in decimal so for the octo number system it will have with the weight of eight then we have eight squared so, so if the next one would be hundreds in decimal number system so this would be 64 or eight squares the same way we say 10 squared becomes 100 so eight squared becomes 64 etc so for instance if we are converting say from decimal 100 you want to to convert it to octo which we will look carefully in the next uh, few slides you will see that uh, you can either divide by by eight the first answer is the first answer is uh, one remainder two 20 divided by 8 is 2 and we have remainder 4 divided by 8 again you find 1 remainder 4 so if you are to obtain 100 which is in base 10 its equivalent in octo is actually you count the same way we are counting from the bottom upwards so you say 1 4 4 so 100 in decimal is equivalent to 1 4 4 in base 8 so well i was not meant to do that introduction that fast but uh, if we want now to look at the position of weights you can see that this has position 8 power 0 8 power 1 and 8 power 2 and therefore if you want to convert it back to decimal you'd say it's 4 times 8 power 0 plus 4 times 8 power 8 power 1 plus 1 times 8 power 2 and this would still give you back your 100 because this is of course 64 and this is of uh, is equals to 32 you can see this is 64 plus 32 is 96 and we know 8 power 0 is 1 so this is a 4 you are able to get back to 100 and therefore we can do those two conversions from decimal to octo and vice versa so moving on we see that the procedure is similar to the decimal to binary conversion and we can be able to obtain octo equivalent of the decimal number such as 948 the same way we have done with 100 where well, we say you want to say 948 948 which is in decimal you need to do repeated divisions by 8 the first answer is 1 remainder 1 14 14 is 1 remainder 6 68 is 8 remainder 4 because of 64 Wait by 8 this is 1 remainder 3 38 and 4 remainder 6 because of that 2 14 divided by, by 8 is 1 remainder 6 so again we repeat we read upwards we say 
Our 948 in decimal is equivalent to 1664 in base 8 or in octal. So that's our basis as the example for using repeated division by 8. Another example, obtain octal equivalent of the decimal number 0.828 to the accuracy of 4 octal digits. And how we do this is now what we call repeated multiplication repeated multiplication by 8 and we simply do 0 0.828 times 8 and we normally take the, the whole number we start here we say it is 0 point dash so the after we do the first multiplication the first whole number we get here we remove it from there and we put it wait the first decimal so 8 times 8 is 64 carry 6 2 times 8 is 16 plus 6, 22, carry 2. 8 times 8 is 64 plus 2, 66. And therefore, the 6 will come here. And therefore, this becomes our first decimal. Then we multiply again by 8. We are told to do to the 4 decimal points or 4 decimal digits. 4 times 8 is that 2, carry 3. 2 times 8, 16 plus 3, 9. 1, 48, 49, carry 4. So this one is not there. So our next decimal will be 4. So you put a 4 there. You do another multiplication by 8. You get 16, carry 1, 72, carry plus 1, 73, carry 1, carry 7, or 72 plus 7, 29, carry, and 7 comes there. 7, you bring it here. And you do another repeated addition, you'll find the answer is 7. We are told four decimal places. That becomes the answer for that conversion from decimal to octal.